We made it to episode 100. Yay! That's enough of that. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Jessica. And I am Brian. Are you? We are the Crocs in the Kitchen. If you have not guessed from the title and the fact that we said welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. But yes, we have made it to episode one, zero, zero. Wait, that's probably backwards for that. We, we, we didn't include the live streams. I'm just going to let you know that. Yeah, in, we didn't include count. the live streams. This is like streams. just the... Yeah, the fully so produced So if you go list. to our video list and you see that it says 105, that's not true because there's four live videos and we don't count those. That's true. We count the produced video amazing products that Brian creates. Yeah. Not to mention those are the ones that I save on my computer and so we finally that's got to we, that. That's how we, yeah. That's one, how we got to episode, episode 100 in my opinion. Yes. But we figured that this was a good time to go back and kind of celebrate some great moments that we had in our past year. But... We also have an exciting announcement, don't we? We have a very exciting announcement. But we're going to save it to the end. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, we have an exciting announcement. Woo. So do you want to get to this list? Although it is possible that I'll put the announcement into the title, but you know. That is quite true. But you know, hopefully you didn't just look at the title. You just saw our lovely faces on the photo and, and just you clicked. clicked. You know, that's just how it also, works. Also, we've been stuck inside for, this is day 23, so we're a little crazy. It's, it is pretty insane, actually. It's very weird. Very weird. Crocs stuck in the kitchen. All right, let's get to these videos. Oh, yes. And oh, yes. celebrate these moments in the past year and these 100 episodes. Yes, so we picked our 10, 10 moments. It's not, this isn't really in an order. Yeah. Um, and... There's, we saved, you know... It's not really ranked, necessarily. It's not really ranked. It's more just our top 10 things that we, you know, as we were going through our videos, it's the top 10 things we pulled out that we wanted to just yes. highlight. Yes. Um, also, if you want to check out the full-length video of any of the, the videos that we talk about, I'll have all 10 of them in the description below. put together a playlist of these videos so you can watch them all in a row because why not you're bored at home anyway you might as well do it yeah so let's get to uh, number 10 on our list which well, we're not gonna number them but we're not sure. really yeah, number okay. so there are 10 this is number 10 this is the first one we're gonna talk about yes it's our favorite <laughs> it is not our favorite but we felt that it deserved, deserved. a spot yes. on our list and that is our kale chip review. Brad set out to make a great snack and they kaled it. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Yes, we did a kale chip video based on, and we, were, we decided we were gonna do some reviews as some of our very first videos just because they were really easy. We didn't need to put together a recipe. We could just, you know, put, you know, buy a product and taste it and tell you what we thought about it. And just to kind of get, get ourselves comfortable with doing this in this format. And so Brad's kale chips are one of our favorite things. We actually haven't eaten any much since we filmed that video. True. Um, I'm not really, I don't know. I mean, I like them, but I guess I've just found other things that I like better, but it's a very fun video. So you guys should all check it out. It is our least popular video on the channel. It is the least viewed it video, is <laughs> which is why we felt that it deserved a place yes. on our list because it it's kind of been the weird little video that, you know, the little just, engine that could. Yeah, but it's, it. <laughs> we celebrate every time we'll text each other like, Kale Chips just hit a thousand views. Yeah. Kale Chips hit 5,000. I think it, it's it finally, has, like, it, I don't think it's hit 5,000. It, it hasn't hit 5,000 views it yet. It might be a little over 5,000. No, it was, at, it was at like um, 4.7 last time I okay. looked. So but after that's... this video, it's going to be at 5,000 because I know you guys are going to all go watch it. Yes, but... please go watch it. We actually had a lot of fun <laughs> making it. And uh, also, if you'd like to see us do some, some more reviews yeah. like that, please let us know in the comments below. Yeah. We can't find a lot of products to review like that. But, you know, when we... If you want us to, when we find something, yeah, we can review it. We're not it. really big on, we haven't, we've had people, a lot of, we've had some people approach us and try to give us stuff to review. All the reviews that we've done on our, our, our reviews or anything related to anything on our channel, we've paid for ourselves. Yes. Um, and so we're kind of like, that, that's a weird line. But that being said, I 
feel like we need to do a review of Dylan's sauces and dressings at some point. That we do. We do need to do that one. Well, your world. I'm just saying. Yeah. I, you know. Okay. All right. Next video, Jessica. The next one is our salad prep video. It's basically like a double pizza cutter and it can be dangerous, so be careful. Um, Brian usually does this because it does take a bit of muscle, especially if you have a lot in here. But we also have a link below for where you can buy this, which has been honestly a lifesaver. But you take it like this and you just chop. And I'm gonna let Brian do that because that's his thing. Yep, a lot of you actually asked about our salads and stuff in later videos, and we were always like, hey, we actually have a video about our salad prep. Yeah, it was our seventh video that we ever posted. Mm -hmm. um, it was, I picked, I picked this one to put on the list because this was one of the videos where we finally got to show the core of what we're actually doing to lose weight. And so our, some of our first videos, you know, the crazy potato diet stuff and yeah. the product reviews and all that, that's not really what we did. And so this was one of the first chances where we could we could take that video and really use it to send to people. Cause in the, remember when we started filming videos, I had sort of like five or six vid key videos that I wanted to get out that I knew would really, you know, express, you know, help people just turnkey mm -hmm. get into this kind of lifestyle. Yeah. And so yes, the salad prep video goes into all of how we prep for our salads. But my favorite clip was the one that we showed, which is Brian uh, mastering the uh, the, the salad chop. chopper. Yeah. Yeah, and we still use that thing practically yes. every and day. And I know a lot of you ask about that, and it is on our Amazon list, which we do have linked below. We have a list of all of our favorite things on there. Um, so I know a lot of you ask about that salad chopper bowl. So if you want to find it, just check out the link in the description. I totally just had the song, These Are a Few of My Favorite Things, play in my head. But I said, these are a few of Croc's favorite things. And I said, I did have, I mean, okay. Okay. Next video <laughs> is when we took a little trip across the pond and spent a couple of days in Nottingham. Brian's going to make us a feast. Yeah, but it is a bit too much for just the two of us. Hmm. Should we bring somebody else in? I think so. Peef? Thing. Oh, no. Yeah, I think that's enough time for him to have perfected everything. Yeah, we've given him plenty of time. Mm. He better mm. have a stellar feast awaiting us. Yeah. So, not only did we get to go and spend several uh, days in, in or a few days in, a couple days in Nottingham, a couple days in yeah. Nottingham. And we got to see Sooty. And we got to see Sooty. We also got to meet our dear friend Martin, Martin, who we had never gotten to meet before. And so it just so happened that he, he was able to get a flight and meet us there. And it was absolutely phenomenal getting to meet him and hang out with him and just generally do everything that we wanted to do is, you know, just hanging out and, and having a good old time. that meal that you cooked for us? That was a very that good That was meal. a very, and me and Martin had such a blast just going around Nottingham while you were, we left the master at work in the kitchen and then we came back and it was just a feast and then we went to see Sooty and it was just such a good day. Like, I loved the, I loved Nottingham. I want to go back there. Yeah. Definitely. Um, we ended up after that going up to Leeds where we met my friend Lisa and Mike. Oh my gosh, so much fun. It was a great trip we all have, around. We have actually a bunch of different videos from our English, English, our England trip. Um, if you want to check those out, there is a playlist on our, if you go to our main channel page, there's a playlist just for all the travel videos and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. It was just a fantastic time and we were so happy that we got to meet uh, Martin and Lisa and all of that. Yay. And see Sooty, I guess. Oh yes, yeah, Sooty. But the next one I'm gonna have to make you introduced. It was our... Hash Brown Throwdown! Well, Jessica, I decided that we're gonna have ourselves a little Hash Brown Throwdown. We have a, uh, a triple fight going on here between the skillet. The air fryer. 
and the Griddler. Yes, we did our hash brown throwdown. Was that the first throwdown we did? Yes. So, I think so. yes. That was me just literally like, hey, we've got a bunch of hash browns. Let's just try and figure out what the best way to cook them actually would be. You know, it's like, and then I was like, wait, what if we turned it into a competition between them all? To where it's like contestants fighting it out, except instead of it being a person, it's potatoes. No, it's actually like an air fryer and a griddler. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's They're right. all fighting it out. Yes. But I really loved the little puns that you had under the, the little, when you introduced the different things. Yeah. Yeah. That was just a lot of fun. And uh, I, I actually have a separate template for editing those types of videos. So it's got all the graphics and it's got all the fun stuff in there. And so I get to like piece it together and have fun editing and all that kind of stuff. Those are some of some of my favorite videos to put together because that's when I get to throw in like the most jokes. And in my planning, because you know I have a spreadsheet of all our videos, um, <clears throat> I actually have a throwdown plan for every single month now. So we'll be doing like one a month going forward. We got some um, good ones coming I forgot up. what the next one is, but I know that there's definitely an ice cream one coming up. There is an ice cream one coming up. Which I'm really excited there, about. There are some other staple food ones that might be coming up, like yeah. we did with our black bean throw down oh. maybe a couple of other ones that we've dreamed up that are going to be fantastic <laughs> as well uh, you know good stuff like that <laughs> uh but shall we move on to the yes. next video so the next video is jessica it is from our trip to the east coast all good whole food plant-based recipes and we're super pumped to have met her and we just had dinner with her and like oh my god it's Brittany <laughs> yep so yeah we went and we drove we did took ourselves a little road trip and one of our stops was in Pittsburgh which by the way that when we drove out of that tunnel and saw Pittsburgh for the first time it was just cool. It's just such a cool city. I can't yeah. wait to go back there. We had plans actually to go back in June, but obviously that's not happening at this time. Um, and we got to meet Brittany and her husband, Mark, and it was yes. so fun. We seriously, we were with them for hours. We could have spent days just talking we, to them. Yeah, we literally could have spent days hanging out with them and just seeing the city and yeah. and just having a good time. And we, we were kind of kicking ourselves after yeah. the fact because we're like, man, we really should... We See, should, that's should. the thing. Before you yeah. meet somebody, you don't really know. But then when we met Brittany and Mark, yeah. we were just like, oh my goodness, you guys, yeah. like, you are friends for life. Yeah. You know, like, they truly became great friends of ours, and we, we absolutely love them. And that was one of the absolute highlights of that trip. And that trip was fantastic, yes. in my opinion. I mean, I almost, I almost, like liked it a little bit more than England. But that's just because I, I mean, you know, I got to go to a lot of really cool places that I really wanted to go to, so. Yeah, um, if you buy- I mean, Gettysburg is what's like top of my list. And there's also a little, uh, that's also on our travel playlist. I think we ended up doing like a three-part th series yeah, of three that road series. trip. So you can see us go to Philadelphia, Atlantic City, all kinds of places. Um, but if you want to check out more about Brittany, check out the Daruti Family YouTube channel and you can see she makes whole food plant-based recipes. Amazing she, whole yeah, food plant-based recipes. Yeah, she's always just... She just posted one today that's like a sweet potato brownie recipe. Oh, God, yes. And I'm not a brownie person. <laughs> I wanted to make those instantly. Yes. So check out her channel. And also, we forgot to say, check out Martin's channel, too. We did forget to say. Our, sorry, Martin. Our, sorry, Martin. Um, we forgot because you haven't been making videos, but Martin he just... He has been. He, I know. Martin, he's actually been back on he it. He just started making videos. We're really proud of him. He's getting back on his whole food plant-based diet. So it's really cool to see him go through his journey um, trying to, uh, you know, adapt to this lifestyle and so martin the great potato mage you can check out we'll have a link to his channel as well mm -hmm. but on to the next video this is the one that i probably got 
the most flack for introducing. And that is our What We Eat In A Day video. Now let's get to the salad bar. Yes, we didn't show the clip there, but what happened was Jessica said something along the lines of, I think it's time we did a What We Eat In A Day video. Yeah. And I said, but it's so boring. <laughs> and so everyone in the comments of that video is like, it's not boring. Yes, <laughs> if I have to hear, it's not boring <laughs> one more time. You're funny. Uh, Brian held off so long on doing What We Eat In A Day video because he didn't want, I don't know, he, he doesn't like I doing just, the I see the like, other, other ones kind of, that are out there that yeah. YouTubers do. And I'm just like, I. Cause I don't really care what they eat in a day. I care like I care about like the recipes or See, about their lives and stuff like that. That's like, because you're not the planner. So the I'm, planner, kind of like me, when I started out on this diet, I wanted to see a full day of what people ate just so I could try to plan it and visualize it in my head as opposed to thinking about it as an individual meal. Yes. Which is just why we work together so well. The other reason why I thought it was boring is because we essentially uh, eat the same things every day. <laughs> not currently now while we're in quarantine though, we kind of just ran out of lettuce and stuff. So yes. I mean like we- But we have more coming. We got more coming, but we On have a Tuesday. ton of other stuff. We have a bunch of rice and beans and, yes. and other vegetables and stuff like that too. But we, yeah, we kind of ran out of salad stuff. stuff yeah, so, we're getting know. it delivered to us. Yes, we are. Uh, but you know, we pretty much eat the same thing every day. Like, you know, I have the same thing for breakfast pretty much every day. I have the same thing for lunch, you know, it's like either chili, soup, whatever that happens to be. And then usually for dinner, we have a giant salad, you know. But it turned out to be a really cool video. It did turn out that, to be a really video, cool video. And we ended up doing another What We Eat In A Day that's like a weekend edition. So you can check out Yeah, those are like some special too. stuff that we did. I want to do, and tell me if you want to see this, and then we'll convince Brian to do it. I want to do What We Eat In A Day quarantine style. Because Avant Garde Vegan did one, and his was just so hilarious. If you guys watch him, um, Gaz Oakley, he's so funny. And I really want to do one. Okay, I guess we can do one. <laughs> we'll get filming on that one shortly, I guess, in the next week or so. Yay. Uh, up next, we have... The gas station challenge. Are you going to open up your can now? Yeah. Okay, then. I'm going to set my sandwich down. I won't knock it over. Are you ready for Go this? for it. We're going to, like, spray this everywhere. I just know it. It's going to be like... I am not. I wonder how long this can was sitting at the gas station. How many years it's been sitting there <laughs> waiting for this moment in its life where it was going to get purchased by a psycho eating it in a car. All right, go for it. Hmm. Green beans. Ooh, it's got that green bean smell. You smell it. <laughs> yep, that's a green bean I smell. I love green beans. Green beans are great. Um, is it weird just to eat them out of a can like this? Um, I would assume not. Hmm. I mean, they don't really need to be heated up. They're tasty. Well, there you go. Definitely salty, but like, I'm sure the sodium level is based on drinking this entire... Brine? Brine of thing. <laughs> wow. Don't watch me eat green beans. Okay, then 
stop eating green beans because you're on camera right now, Jessica. They're really good. Mm -hmm. You want to try? Sure, I'll take I'll take a bite. Oh wow. <laughs> No. They're delicious. No, they're not. How are they? How is that not delicious? No. So this one, I I picked the clip for this. It's the, of course I picked the green bean clip because that was the most talked about thing in the comments was those green beans and those green beans were super tasty and Brian doesn't like them and it's funny and yes. Um, he hates canned green beans, but you know, for those of you who are on team green bean, which I know you're out there cause you guys let me know on the, on the video. <laughs> um, but that was just such a fun challenge. So we were traveling in, where were we? We were in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. We we're in Tulsa. Tulsa. Yeah. Yeah. We we're in Tulsa and we were like, let's go to a gas station and see what we can find. That's as close to whole food plant-based as possible. And we did, we pitted us against each other and then let you guys decide who won. Now, of course, Brian won on a technicality or whatever. Yeah, I did win on technicality. By getting more votes. <laughs> uh, but you you could spirit, argue you could argue that the sandwich was not whole food plant based. You could I argue get that. That, that is could. fine. Um, me and Peef, you know, maybe made some better choices, but yours were more appetizing looking because they weren't, you know, they they weren't sticking with the diet. But it's fine. It's it's not like we hold a grudge or anything. That's true. But I will also tell you this, that weirdly, whenever we do go to a gas station now, like if we happen to be going there, I still do look around to see if there's anything that might actually be there that we can eat. Oh. It's like I play a little little mental version of the gas station But what challenge. about when we walked into that gas station, sorry, petrol station, when we were in London and we were, because we were, we were playing around with doing a petrol station challenge when we went there. We really wanted to do one. We just honestly didn't have the time. Um, but we walked in this one gas station and it was just like, oh, there was nothing. There was nothing. Absolutely nothing. Which is weird because London is so, you know, but it was, it was kind of like a weird little hole in the wall one. I yeah, bet we could have found a better one. We could have found a better gas station probably so, outside of the city or something like time. that. But you next know, time. you never, you, you never know what that. We'll try and do it though next time. Yes. All right. Next video, Jessica. Oh yes. The next video is my favorite video on our entire channel and everyone asks for it and I always, you know, ask the question and it's our peef video. I'll tell you what though, it would be kind of nice if, uh, if your mom were actually here though. Yeah, that's To talk true. about them. Because it, it, peef, the peef thing is really my mom and I, like it's all about my mom and I. Peef, can you fix it? <laughs> peef! Hi Peef, how you doing? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Peef <laughs> loves, this is my mother guys, by the way. Yes, hi everybody. <laughs> this is my mother, well her name's Pam, but we like to call her Pammy. Um, so I call her, well I like to call her Pammy. So Peef calls her Pammy. Okay, Peef. Anyway, so yeah, this is this is the person who like, like you guys don't understand, like Peef and I, Peef and my mom and I have gone on so many adventures together. Like we do not travel without bringing Peef. We've brought him on so many airplanes. Um, like he just, it, it, like he's just part of our lives. Like there doesn't, there isn't a day that goes by where like I don't call my mom up. Like, well, I call her usually like three times or four times a day. And um, <laughs> usually we, I don't, I don't know if we have we ever had a conversation where we don't talk about Peef. Probably not. I don't know. I can't remember any. But yeah, maybe. So yes, everyone always asks, what's the, wait. What's the deal with P? <laughs> Don't say it like that, I can't handle that. It's so good. Um, what's the deal with P? So everyone always asks that, and so we, we finally just, you know, we laid it all out there. Well, I laid it all out there. Um, I went, you know, off the deep end and made a, what was it, like three minute video about P. Because it honestly takes that long to really just describe the essence of Peef. Yeah. Um, and so, yes, you guys, if you want, if you haven't seen that video and you're still wondering who Peef is or what's the deal with Peef? You're supposed to say, what's, what's the deal with Peef? <laughs> if you're still wondering that, um, just check out that video and it, it'll explain the whole thing. And then the you may unsubscribe, thing. but it's, you know. If you, if anybody unsubscribes, and I maintain this, I said this after we post the video, if anybody unsubscribes from this channel based on watching that video, then 
they we don't want them here anymore. They didn't get it. They didn't. They get didn't it. get it. They didn't get it. They didn't get what's going on here on this channel. <laughs> yes. All right. So we are on to our final two videos, Yay. and uh, they're kind of related a little bit here. Yeah. So uh, number two that we have though is our first video. Yay. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna go potato shopping. So the plan, my plan is, I think we're gonna get like. A, like maybe three or four different bags of potatoes like sweet potatoes russets yukon gold. gold like we're going to trader maybe joe's some fingerlings or something i'm big and green today yeah yeah that's how i like yeah. yes that was the video where we explained about our two-week potato diet that we started off everything with and uh it was it was a crazy time for us. It was a weird thing for us to put together our very first video. It took us a good month or so to actually get everything together and and fully produce that video out. And even to this day, since we even watched it the other day, like I still look at it and I'm like, man, I could totally edit this way better now. Yeah. It's like, well, I mean, I gave you such great material to work with when I filmed myself. Obviously, it was I, just you know, it was just the camera work was just obviously amazing i cut out a lot of stuff there was there was a lot of just weird random things that she talked about so it was there yeah somebody said we should release an unedited version of that no i don't want to do that that's just no i don't want to do that i'll work i'll work on we, it we'll, we might do that we okay might we do might that. do that <laughs> But it's something that was, uh, it kicked off our entire channel. It kicked off a huge part of our lives now. And we look back at that, that video with great fondness and appreciate all that it did for the channel and growing it and getting us to where we need to be. It also established a bunch of very key things with our channel, like our little intros that we do and the outro music that we have. And that's when we wrote the lyrics. It was when I kept editing that video and oh. I was just like, oh, this song. I had, cause I kept listening to it over and over and over again. Hey, where are the crocs in the kitchen? <laughs> so it was just, it was something that really was a marker. It was a line in the sand for us as far as you like- You love saying that. I don't like saying that. Line in the sand. I say that all the time too. I never say that I know. actually. I never say that. Uh, but it was it was it. this thing that that established a bunch of other stuff for yes. us and and launched us into yeah. what we are currently doing today. So it's it's a great video in my opinion and well deserved uh, to be on our list. But Brian, yes. did you know that that's not our most viewed video? It is not our most viewed video. Our most viewed video and the last one on our list it is is our one year potato anniversary video. Okay, I'm like nervous to do this though. Do it. Okay. All right. Plain potato. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it has that smell. It's go like, for it. It's such a. Quit talking yourself out of it and just do it. Sucking myself up. I'm just making a mess over here. <laughs> well. Mm-hmm. Well. Yep. I, I feel like I've been transported back a year. A year? I, I kind of, I'm well, kind of like, I feel like I'm going to cry. It's real. It's we, not because it's so bad or anything like that. It's just that those two weeks were super emotional for us. Like, oh yeah. It was, it was just a mental, it was a mental challenge more than anything just to break our addiction to this lifestyle that we had led and it's, it's like, it's actually like really emotional for me <laughs> to eat a plain potato. I'm already shutting my brain off and eating potato. <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm not even joking. It's okay. It's like... We've come a long way. And yes, this is the one where I got emotional and I definitely like, I got really emotional. And that, that clip that we just showed, like that was not... Plan. There was no plan. We had a, we honestly, that video was supposed to be goofy and funny and it was just supposed to be like, oh, look at these idiots. They're eating these two potatoes, <laughs> these yeah. plain potatoes again. Like, but I'm telling you guys that smell and that taste of the potato. When I took that first bite, it just brought all of the emotions of the beginning of this adventure and yeah. you know, the, the year that we had gone through together back and it, it just, it made me so emotional, but it was, you know, it's, 
I, even still when I watch that, I get emotional just watching it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, so that was definitely, and that was actually a moment, you know, where we filmed that and we had a, a long discussion after, are we going to put this out there? Cause it felt so vulnerable in that moment. I was ready to kibosh the whole like filming for that day. Cause I was just so, and just do it again or whatever. But then we watched it back and we thought, you know what? We're all about it being raw, real, everything. And so we just wanted to share that because it, it there is such an emotional thing that you go through when you're on a journey, adventure, whatever like this. Yeah. Um, when you change your complete lifestyle, it's definitely a emotional thing. And so we want to show all sides of that. It's Absolutely. Not, yeah. So that was actually really fun. Yeah. And Brian didn't want to do this. He wanted to pick like two or three videos. And then I, of course, it was simple. I'm an overachiever and I don't have to do the editing. So I was like, let's pick 10 videos and just go through. And, and that's the dichotomy of, of our relationship when <laughs> yes. it comes to videos. Jessica always wants to make the videos more complicated, more complicated. And, and, you know, more grand and all more of that. And I'm just like, you do realize like I've only got a limited amount of time to edit this and put it together. Well, the funny part is it's like 722 right now on the day that this is supposed to come out. Out, so we'll see if it comes out before midnight um, but I came up with the really we've been kind of we've been kind of cranky today but we're in, a, we're in a good mood now yeah we're great but we've been cranky today and honestly we've been getting re along really well in the quarantine you yeah. know whatever um, you know we've been just trying to, to stay productive and and get 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 the stuff done that you Put off yeah. and you you don't you don't do yeah um we got to do some amazing amazing uh, amazing q a videos with ray cronice and juliana hever we just filmed those yesterday and i'm telling you guys i'm so excited for you guys to see those coming up um i'm not sure when they'll be out brian's got a lot of editing to do yep. um we'll, put, we'll we'll shoot for in the shoot, future. You were shoot for one of them to come out Wednesday, but we're, it might be Sunday. It might be Sunday, um, yes. But yes, it will be a really, really good resource for you guys to watch and kind of, you know, while especially while everybody's locked up and kind of thinking about their priorities and what they want to do. And, you know, I feel like everyone's just like, you know, there's so many changes going on right now. Yes. So, but Jessica. So yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We have a huge announcement. I got off on a tangent. It, the, the, the interviews were not the announcement. No, they were not. No, they were not. So what was the big announcement? The big announcement, the grand, can you do like a drum roll? Yes. <laughs> Brian is finally putting out his podcast. Yeah. It's, it's happening. That is happening. I got a massive wave of productivity between the hours of 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. She did. This morning, I guess, technically. Um, and went ahead and created like all the imaging and social media accounts and everything for Brian's podcast. So yep. actually, I'm going to link to the, the, the um, social media accounts below so you guys can go ahead and get on there and like them and follow them and all that so that when he does get the first video, or not video, first podcast audio yep. up, that we can, you guys are there and ready to, to listen to it. Yep. So the first episode we will be recording tomorrow. Yes. And I will be on it with him. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be on every episode. No. Um, this is Brian's kind of little project, but. And yeah, I'm going to be doing some interviews. I'm going to be talking about our life, uh, yep. talking about different food stuff. You know, maybe I'll do some informative uh, podcast as well, like pick a topic and just sort of explore where it goes. Like, Really, I've got a bunch of different options of different things that I can actually do, and I've got a lot of great contacts for really good interviews as well. So I, I think that I'm gonna have uh, an absolute blast putting this one together, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. But if you're wondering, the name of my podcast is I'm Losing It with, with Brian, Brian Kroc. Kroc. So yeah. Yes. It's kind of a play for me because not only am I talking about actually losing weight, but it's also, I guarantee you, I'm going to rant about some things as well. So it's just, it's just going to be some fun times for me. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to actually doing this podcast. So the plan is that it'll be a weekly podcast, right? Yes, a weekly podcast. Um, it, I'm thinking the episodes are more like, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, not like super crazy long, but yeah. some of them might be longer. You just never, you Depends. know, whatever the topic is, or if there's a guest you know, whatever kind of thing. And then I'll be, of course, joining in probably at least once a month or so to check in and, and make sure that, you know, people aren't missing me too much. That's true. <laughs> but, but I'm really excited for you to have this outlet yes. of your own. And so. this is this is also just, you know, it is a secondary 
uh, outlet for our information. You know, this we're still doing everything with the YouTube channel. Nothing is yes. is changing there. It's just that this is another another separate outlet for me to actually talk about things or just you know do fun stuff yeah and have you know you can get some of our friends like martin or Brittany, and you know chat with them and it's so much easier to do audio than it is yeah. to try to do video of all that stuff so um and i know a lot of you guys like listening to podcasts while you're doing other stuff so so yeah and everybody who doesn't love listening to brian's voice i mean let's be honest yeah i've got <laughs> that radio voice <laughs> So yeah, check out the links below. Make sure you're all following all of his Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter is what I have so far for him. Um, I'm losing it. I will be managing those accounts probably, probably for the most part. Probably, yes. Um, I'm a social media manager. But uh, yeah, he... Yeah, follow on, on all those accounts and then... Um, and once yeah. again, those are linked in the description below. Yeah, they're, the handles are different on... Yeah, you just go to the links yes. below because, uh, yeah. Yeah, but for this channel, we would also like it if you found oh, us yeah. on all of our social media stuff. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Pinterest and Twitter. Twitter. Uh, also, subscribe if you have not done so and click the bell that is right next to it so you get notified whenever we post a new video. Also, like and share the video if you are inclined to do so, just because, you know, maybe you're a nice person and you just like doing those types of things for YouTubers who are currently stuck in their apartments. So you can, we can make another hundred videos. Yeah, because you know, the, the more people we get watching stuff, the more videos we can do. And you know, the more stuff that we can keep going and uh, all that kind of stuff. Not to I mean, we really do love doing this and we yes. love interacting with you guys out there. And uh, honestly, it's been, it's been the viewers, it's been you guys who have kept us going throughout all of this. It has been the amazing comments. It has been the, the messages that we have gotten. It has been the stories of weight loss and, uh, you know, other great healthful things that have happened to, to you and uh, to the people who we've inspired to actually go out there and start losing weight and getting onto their own weight loss adventure. We absolutely do commend you for taking that step and going on that, on that path. And we are so humbled by the fact that you guys have decided to do that, even partially inspired by what we've done. That is so important to us and it moves us so much and we are so grateful for everything that you guys have done for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And here's to another 100 episodes on Crocs in the Kitchen. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.